Good morning. My name is Michelda, and I'm a water walker. I came home last night and was preparing for bed at about 7.30, and I was telling a friend how um, I haven't had many, many days. I've had just a few where I just felt old. I just felt a deep weariness in my soul. And as I prepared to get in the bed, I just realized how grieved I was. I'm grieved because of the cousins that were so young, but their life has ended. I'm grieved because when I look on my timeline, I see some of my friends going through the loss of their mother, the sickness of their father, the loss of loved ones, the divorce, the kids being murdered. I'm grieved for our black men, not just our young black men, but for all black men that have lost the confidence that they can walk down the street and those that are to protect and serve have now, in some cases, not all, become an enemy. I'm grieved for the young mothers who have young sons and are not sure what to do every day. I'm grieved for those that disrespect our president. Whether you agree with him or not, there is an order and a level of respect. And so I'm even more grieved when I look at the timeline of some of my friends and I see the things that they say and the posts and I have to sit back and wonder, what do you think about me? I'm grieved. As a servant of the Lord, I'm grieved when I see injustice, when I see unfairness, when I see things that perplex my soul. I'm grieved. As a servant of the Lord, I'm grieved. And so I just got a few things to say today. Number one, mothers, plead Psalm 91. My brother, Psalm 91. I, I, I'm a firm believer that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. And whatever attack the enemy has tried to wage, especially against our brothers, no weapon formed will be able to prosper. But ultimately... As I grew weary and continued to grieve, I realized that, and I know y'all may call me a Bible thumper and that's okay, <laughs> but I realized that my hope lies in the Lord. And I was reminded of the scripture this morning, Psalm 27, 13, I would have fainted. And I know that's how many of you feel today with whatever you're facing, whatever it looks like, your job, your home, your marriage, your boyfriend, your boo thing, your girlfriend, whatever, I would have fainted. But can I encourage you to read the rest of it unless I lived and believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And I am convinced and I just want to convey my confidence to you today. <laughs> I am convinced that you will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Don't you? I don't care what it look like. I don't care what it feel like. You know, some people say I'm just hanging on by a thread. Well, listen, you tie a knot in that thread and you hang in there. Don't you give up, don't you lose hope, and don't you faint. Our God, our awesome God, he has not forgotten about you. And he will vindicate in every situation. You be blessed today. My name is Michelda, and I'm a water walker.